Okay, we're cutting up cabbage. Pat's showing us her technique for cabbage cutting. Um, we're making a bowl full of it. Right there. There's a grater. Just showing you some of the tools. Whole bowl full of onions. We're all here in tears. <laughs> yes. Um, but we did have a handy little tool there for about the last, um, I don't know, 16th or 32nd of the amount that we did because we weren't smart enough to get that out ahead of time. We have a little station here with some knives and uh, cutting um, boards. Costco's carrots, five pounds organic carrots, were six fifty, and the regular ones were six dollars. So it's only fifty cents more, more for, for organic, organic carrots. Carrot. We are going so we're peeling carrots now. Lori's got the preferred method of peeling <laughs> carrots with the knife. The cheap, lazy method. We need two cups of shredded carrots. Okay. We're working on two cups of shredded carrots. Might take a little while. Does it matter what size it is? Because you have other. No. no. That's ladies. actually that's actually that's good. That's a good size. Okay. Now we're grating the carrots. We need two cups, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Trying to keep it in the bowl, not on the floor. It feels gross when you step on it. To make sure that we can pack it in and have the juice. Can you explain again, Pat, what this process is doing? Because I'm going to videotape okay. them. Um, Merid Meredith has um, four tablespoons away and a tablespoon of sea salt in it. And she is squeezing and working the salt in the way uh, to get the natural juice out of the cabbage. And when we put it in the, uh, in the jar, the juice will cover all of the, uh, all of the vegetables because in order for, um, for, lac uh, for lacto-fermentation to happen, it has to be without oxygen. Okay, and you are and working I, on another one over And here. I'm making a, a slightly different version of this, and this will have a uh, previously lacto-fermented pineapple vinegar Yum, it on it. delicious, too. And so th this just needs to be pounded a little bit, and then the vinegar will um, stay over top of... But it isn't like a regular vinegar, which is really super acidic. Um, this vinegar has been uh, made, and we're going to make it in, in a little while, from the outer skin and the core of a pineapple. Okay. So um, we are making kind of two different things here, but they're both the same thing. They just have um, a couple different ingredients. Or a, two different a, methods. Two different methods. Okay. So and the, the, what you're trying to do here is get some liquid out of the mm -hmm. vegetables. Yeah. Okay. Look at how much liquid. Mira's got a lot of liquid in hers. Yeah. So she's, here. she's about ready. Hers is just about ready. Breaking down of the, of the starchy tissues. So oh, Meredith had tamped hers down pretty good before she started to put it in the jar. Right. Right? So she's already got a lot of liquid in here. Um, now we got this other batch over here. Yep. We're tamping it down after, is that right, to get the liquid because um, it, it wasn't well, this, as tamped before? Right. This one we're going to be putting the vinegar over top of. Okay. So this is a different process. It's a different process. Okay. With the same ingredients. And the cool thing is we're going to see how it tastes. Now the one that you're doing right now is... is um, the pineapple vinegar. Yes, this will be pineapple vinegar. Okay, and these recipes are in the Nourishing yes. Traditions book. Both, and, and it's called like Latin, Sally it's called Latin American sauerkraut. Okay, Latin American sauerkraut. Are both of these technically called Latin American yes. sauerkraut? Okay. Yes. But this one is more juicy because we put what in salt and whey. Okay, it already has the salt and whey in here. Okay, that's enough. And it's been tamped and, and played with until we Amazing got Amazing how much fit in here, fluid. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you recall the bowls that we had with everything in it, this is all we have left. And we have four quart jars full. So the next thing we're going to do is I'll take our pineapple vinegar and just pour it in. It's going to bubble down through. And this vin this vinegar is about eight weeks old. Okay. And the recipe for this vinegar is also in the Healthy yes. Traditions cookbook. Yeah. 
And um, talk again about uh, the fact that you made this from what part of the pineapple? I made it from the skin and the core. Okay, and then that means you get to eat the rest of the pineapple. <laughs> yes, because the next thing we're going to make is a pineapple <coughs> chutney with the rest of the pineapple. Awesome. <coughs> So it's interesting that um, so much of the food is used and yes. there's so little waste. Right. You think of our, our forefathers. They didn't waste anything. Awesome. Okay. Somebody want to explain what Meredith's doing? Cutting up the pineapple? Meredith is taking off the, the skin of the pineapple. She's doing a good job because she's getting most of the She's eyes. actually doing a really good job. I usually end up with eyes. There we go. The eyes have it. So we're going to take get the core out too, right? Do you have a method that you prefer to do that? I usually I just, just cut, cut it in quarters. Yeah. And when we get done with the chutney, we're going to make vinegar out of this. So right now you're coring it. And the taking the skins and the core mm -hmm. and putting it in a bowl. Yep. Okay, so this is what we have in our bowl. Cut the pineapple into small chunks. Off some of the eyes that are left. Yeah, and we don't throw those away. Those, those go in. Yeah. And those in the bowl with the rest. Okay. What What is chutney? Chutney is a combination of of fruits, usually fruits and vegetables, and it's always um, spicy. And you use it as a con complement or condiment to meat. So this is this is good with fish Ooh, and chicken. That would be really good with meat. Yes. Okay. Um, one of the things that um, Sally Phelan teaches is that you have to use whey if you are um, fermenting fruit because um, it spoils uh, before the natural um, process can occur if you just use salt. Okay. And I've learned from experience to always cover my fruit-based things because fruit flies can <laughs> <laughs> yeah. otherwise. You, you just made them really happy. Oh, yeah, exactly <laughs> right. And any kind of vinegar, too. Okay, Meredith's still working on the pineapple here, cutting it up into small pieces for the chutney. Um, again, we have two pr two things we're getting out of this pineapple because we we're, were just talking about not wasting, like yep. our grandmothers. One dollar. One dollar. Actually, right now we got these at, well, for one dollar. Pat got them at um, Kroger. Um, so who knows how long that will last. But um, I myself am going to go and take advantage of that and get a few and do do this. Um, so we have, we're cutting up the inside for the chutney. And this is going to be... Um, pineapple vinegar. That, the vinegar that we just used on our sauerkraut. And I, th I think that I'm really going to like the vinegar because it leaves the pieces more and Get a shot of, it, of the sauerkraut that we're making over there. Okay. Yeah. These are the two types of sauerkraut that we had made and the, we did together Wait, earlier. Are sitting right That is a cilantro. Like, yeah, a lot like of cilantro. cilantro. Like, because this is just the this is just the... Um, is there dill mixed in there? No. It's all cilantro. Okay. So you said you're putting a bunch of cilantro yeah. or a lot of cilantro? Or what, what word did it, you it, use for it's, that? It's said, yeah. uh, the recipe calls for a bunch. And I'm not quite sure how a bunch of bunches. Well, don't they grow in bunches? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think like when you buy cilantro at the store, it's like a bunch. In a bunch, yeah. yeah. But, so uh, that's about the right is, size there. Right, but this is from my garden... This is our bunch. This is our bunch of cilantro. Cilantro is going. Oh, it's looking good. And now the we've got smells a, are Now we want a amazing. tablespoon of grated vinegar. Ginger. Ginger. I was going to say grated vinegar is an interesting new concept for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Indian market. Um, we have an Indian market in uh, in Auburn Hills, and they have absolutely the best hunky stuff. Hunky stuff. Yeah. Hunky. That sounds good. Yeah, like this. This this is really That's good. what I want. That's what I want. That's a yep. good piece of ginger. Good piece of ginger. That's what yeah, I want to make my it. ginger ale. Okay, knuckle buster here. Grating the ginger. <laughs> I'm always paranoid about grating stuff. Just add a little protein to the 
chutney. Okay, now we are getting two tablespoons of fresh lime juice. I have a citrus juicer if you would like. It's just a hand juicer. Okay. These are not very juicy. Yeah. I've had really juicy limes. Okay, yeah. so what's next? One teaspoon sea salt. Yeah, this is the one that um, I made this, got out this morning. You watch this YouTube video. This is on way. Okay, so we just added a half cup of water to our um, yeah. quarter cup. And now we got a pound of. What quarter cup of what did you just put in there? Way. Way, that's right. And the other ingredients. And now we're going to pound it. Take out our ingressions. Pounding down. Same reason why we pounded the cabbage, correct? Yep. So that we start to break down the, the fibrous starch and, and, uh, and get as much surface area going as possible. And now we'll fill in the jar. Yep. We all tasted it. It was quite good, but we can, we're really looking forward to the difference in taste from we'll this week to now. next week. <laughs> One of the things that we've really lost in our modern day world is a sense of community that was done around food. People always got together to um, preserve their food and, uh, and got together to eat it, but you know, today we're in such a hurry that we really lost that relationship and sense of community. Many of her recipes have cilantro. So this is the finished product. We have um, the, the the rind, um, all of the the stuff that we cut out of the pineapple, even the eyes, in here. Um, we didn't put the top in, however. And then we added all the ingredients that are on the ingredient list in here, and it needs to sit for at least 36 hours and up to three days. Three days. Um, Pat said that she put the top on it when the top started to pop off. Well, to to raise when up. When it rose up, you knew it was fermenting, and then it was. And then, this is one I don't put in the refrigerator, so okay. I... You just always keep it out? Uh, yeah, I put, it, I put it in the cupboard. And what kind of things do you use this uh, pineapple vinegar for, other than the recipe that we used today? What have you used it for? Um, to make salad dressing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you could even take that and put the sparkling water and, mm. and drink it, because it smells and tastes good. It isn't... It isn't like white vinegar that's so nasty. It has some sweetness to it. it it's, it's kind of sweet. Okay. And just so we all are aware, we're not all women here today. Oh, oh, Chad uh, left. Rare. There he is. There he is. And we Hello have a future um, natural cook there in mm -hmm. Chad's hands. Awesome. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay. And I am I am a male that supports all this, and I kind of know a decent amount. So. There you go. So he, he he pretty much knows what he's talking about, and he also knows how to eat it. <laughs> 